What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, and we're going to be taking a look at what's coming Monday on our preview of Sunday. So the World Finals clubs and the Italian clubs, as well as for the World Finals tour here and the Italian clubs here, as well as the Flexible Showdown. The Flexible Showdown, don't forget to do that. You can sign a free player very easily, but these ones will be gone. World Finals tour online versus PvP, and of course versus the AI as well. Also, a few people have been asking me about the penalty lap reward. So this is on my secondary account. We have got our Road to Glory free to play account here. You can see that I'm only on lap, what, 26, 27? Some people have completed this now. You will be able to complete all of this if you log in from now until eFootball 25. And of course, for the cards, we know that there is going to be a refresh every week of the cards. The Spain and Argentina ones, they're going to be lasting another couple of days, but it is the Showtime cards that are going to be gone. So these Italian League ones, you've got Martinez, Hernandez, and of course, Dybala. These are going to be gone and replaced with new Showtime. So I think Konami will change this for eFootball 2025. I think that they're going to have more longer releases of the cards because what happens is some people miss out on their favorite cards because they're gone away on holidays or whatever but it looks like this is what we're going to be getting a shout out to buddy j over on twitter for this mock-up here of the young stars so it seems to be again cole palmer is going to be getting a card with erling Haaland and of course nico williams these are club edition packs and a club edition showtime young stars now it's not confirmed what players will be getting the skill because usually it's two of the three that get the skill it could be phenomenal finish in Haaland or it could be, of course, Palmer or Nico Williams with the momentum dribbling or game changing pass or something like that. Now, also, a few people have been asking me about the release legends. We know that there's a lot of new legends that have been added to the DBs over the last couple of weeks. These ones, I think, will come over the next couple of weeks. So you've got Fletcher, Scholes, Beckham, Lampard, and of course, the new Rummy and Varane. Varane is not featured in eFootball yet. Um, the rest of the cards have, apart from Fletcher. So it's going to be different versions of cards. Um, these are still ongoing to be released and also with this one as well I, I definitely think Konami missed a trick with not releasing these players during the Euros especially to tie in you know when the Netherlands were playing or when Spain were playing or whatever um, but yeah it's an interesting one that they still have these in the locker for the DBs obviously right card and Holland are going to be massive cards when they release them the other cards less so a little bit but I do think that that is going to be, obviously, as the time goes on over the next couple of days and the next couple of weeks, they'll probably hold these in the locker and hold them back uh, throughout the months to kind of, like, get up. But, yeah, the young stars, I don't know about the hype for Haaland, Palmer. Obviously, if Palmer has game-changing pass or visionary pass, I don't know where people are actually going to go for him, you know, because the club the club season has not started yet. Maybe they're going to tie these in for the build-up of the club campaign, kicking off, you know, with Chelsea and City back in action in a couple of weeks' time with the Premier League. And Nico Williams, in fairness, had a, has had a brilliant, um, you know, Spain Euros. So I do feel like, yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. But let me know what you guys think. It's just a quick, short video, short and sweet, to the point. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you're going to spin for these or if you just have no interest. Let me know.